Hey cutie. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. I just came back from a short vacation. So I'm a little out of sorts of just filming and talking to you guys again. So sorry if I'm a little awkward in this video, but this is gonna be my first update for my Pan That Palette. A couple housekeeping things. First, I wanna just mention that Pan That Palette was started by Amber F. I will have her channel linked down below. She pans her palettes to completion and that's incredible. She like start to finishes a palette and it's really incredible to watch her. She's very dedicated with her palettes. And I decided to just take a little bit step back because I don't want to get burnt out from panning a palette. I did pan completely subculture a few years ago and I definitely burnt myself out. I don't think panning a palette, especially a really specific color story like that, is really for me. I can finish shades here and there if I really want to and I mostly just want to hit pan on shades right now. So a lot of that ties into like my eye bank project that I'm doing and my no pan left behind that I'm doing. It lets me touch more of my collection and then gain those points so I can bring other eyeshadows into my collection because we all know that's my bread and butter. What I love is bringing new eyeshadows in. So this is what my Pan That palette is. I built my nine pan out of my Going Coconuts palette and I used a couple other ColourPop palettes that I have in my collection to fit the shades that I wanted to in here. And I've just been working on this over the past month with a couple goals. So I do have my bullet journal in front of me so I can go over the goals with you. First, I want to just roll the clip of what this palette was looking like when we rolled it in at the beginning of the year. I need to be careful with my palette. This is what my build your own pan that palette is looking like today. This is a combination of shades from the Going Coconuts palette, which this palette is, the Bare Necessity palette, which I have in my collection, the Sailor Moon collab palette, the Pretty Guardian palette, the original, that's the, just that one shade there. Then a couple other shades that I repressed into some pans in there. I had some goals I wanted to meet over the course of the last month. And first was really just, that's a lie. I only had one goal that I really wanted to meet. And then I had, I personally had like a little soft goal that I kind of had on the back burner that was just in the back of my mind. But like formally, all I wanted to do was use each shade 10 times in this palette. Unfortunately, I did not do that, but I did make really great progress in it. And I'm really actually happy with the uses that I did. Everything was at least over five uses. Some of them had well over the 10 uses. Some of them were just a couple uses shy of 10 uses. For the majority, I, I averaged out pretty well, I think for uses in this palette. my This shade up here does shatter, so I have to be a little bit careful with it. You can see my bullet journal and Ripley, maybe. He's being so cute right now on my lap. I had already filmed this video. I brought the footage with me to edit this in, at, in Mexico, when I was in Mexico, and I lost my SD card in the airport, which I'm really bummed about, so I am refilming this. So really, I have used a couple of these shades with the new rotation because we did make a new rotation and I'm gonna share that with you. I'm so excited about that. But I have used a couple of these shades a couple more times already. So the usage is probably a little less, or it's a little more than what it would have been if I had the footage from a couple days ago when I filmed this. I have the accurate like marks and tallies and everything. So I'm okay with that. So I was really proud of what I did with this palette over the course of the past month. I think I made some really good strides with this and it's kind of set my targets on a few shades that I really would like to focus on over the next couple weeks, couple months. And really trying to make some really great progress in this palette again. So as you can see, I did hit pan in the shade Love and I actually want to swap that shade for a different shade. My goal in this project isn't really to finish shades up. It, I want to finish a couple shades, but I mostly want to use this to rotate through my ColourPop palettes, see any repeating shades, really just try to hit pan in those because a lot of my ColourPop palettes have a lot of mattes in them. And I... I'm okay using mattes day in and day out. It's really like the shimmery, sparkly metallics, multi-chromes, duochromes. Those are what I want to wear on the day to day and really want to fluctuate my collection. I don't mind wearing the same matte shade over and over and over again. And I especially like something like this I found 
for my work day. I'm okay just like kind of going to a stable palette, going about my day. Something like this where I can really have fun with. This is like I would wear this to like a concert or maybe Josh and I are going somewhere for dinner and I wear this to dinners and stuff. But yeah, I, I'm really happy with where this is. But I do want to finish this shade here, which is the MBA shade Glow For It. Again, that's a shade that just keeps crumbling out of the palette. So I really want to focus on that and try to finish it, as well as Glass Bowl here, which doesn't have that much left in the pan. So I would really like to focus on that as well to hit pan or to finish. So those are my only two finish goals in this palette so far. The rest I really just want to hit pan in and once I hit pan I am kind of calling it with the shade and rotating a new shade in its place. And that is exactly what I decided to do with Love. I ended up swapping it for a really warm toned brown, like a mid-toned warm brown from the Bare Necessities palette. That's the shade Complicated. I really just wanted something to ground these more warmer tones as we're starting to tiptoe in to the springtime weather. I know it's only February. We have so much time left until it's actually warm, but it's been like deceivingly nice right now. It's been like a reprieve from like the very, very cold and not super, super cold right now. So I feel like we're not too far from the warmer weather, the springy weather. And I think that I need something like this to wear more yellows and brighter tones and just happier tones in my opinion. And I also think that it's going to pair really well with Jeannie up here too. So that's what complicated looks like. It's also a, I strategically picked this one because it is a softer, it feels like a softer pressed shade. So I think it's going to be a little bit easier to hit pan in. So if I can be a little bit more strategic and focus on those softer pressed mattes prior to like the firmer pressed mattes, in this build your own palette. I think I'm only just setting myself up for success. Plus I do have some pretty dense packed mattes in this palette right now. This shade up here in the buff, that is a really, really dense packed matte neutral nude shade. Um, but I'm, I'm happy that I'm working on it because I'm making, I can like see the progress happening. Same thing with this on holiday. That's another one that's really, really firmly pressed. But I think I can see like the I can definitely see usage in it. I can't really see much of a tangible dip. If it there is, it's pretty much covering the whole surface area because I do buff my brush in throughout the whole thing. Genie, I definitely see wear and tear towards that center. That's a shade that I like to wear as a base and then layer on top other like really pretty multi-chromes or duochromes. I think it just works really well. Then this has been like my go-to kind of row to work on. It has been Cufflinks, Glass Bowl, and the Glow For It shade. I can wear these all in a look and I can run out the door and go to work and I feel really put together. Usually I'll put Cufflinks all over the lid and just kind of blend it up into the cream. I layer glass bowl on top of it and then I top the center or the inner corner or wherever with the glow for it shade. So I'm getting a lot of use out of those three as a unit. So once I'm done with glass bowl, I'm going to have to find something similar to put in to its place to kind of get the same vibe that I was getting from it. Or maybe I'll just put in a shade that I want to finish again. I haven't really decided. I'm just trying to make this project a little bit more like rotational for myself and keep me really engaged with this palette um, just so I don't lose sight and lose focus on it and just I want to I want to see the progress in my collection and I think that this has been a really good way for me so far to do it. I don't feel stressed out about this. I genuinely want to reach for this palette and I didn't wear makeup on my entire vacation, but when I, I was like, man, I really could go for some of these shades. Like they would go with the vibe down here, but really happy with the uses that I'm getting out of this. Again, I have used a couple of these shades already. I did film my update like maybe two or three days before I left for vacation and then used it going to work and then came back from vacation. Anyway, so let's go over my February goals or what I just want to accomplish over the next couple, next few weeks, next month um, on these shades. First and foremost, I think my staple goal for this palette in general is each shade I want to use 10 times per month. I think that's going to be across the board for every update, unless obviously I like hit a goal. I don't feel like that 
push that I'll need to kind of see that uses goal. But I do want to continue to get that uses goal because it does help my eye bank and everything's a points game for me in my head now. Uses count to points. Points count to eyeshadows that I can bring into my collection with no like repercussion kind of thing. So I do want to use 10 times and I am going to try to catch up on the shades that I didn't use 10 times last month. So shades like Glow For It, Glass Bolt, Cufflinks, and Shell Yeah. Those are going to be kind of priority shades that I want to focus on at least getting my 10 uses, firmly 10 uses on those, and then try to kind of eat away the deficit of the uses, I guess, if that makes any sense, you know. So that is definitely a goal. I also would really love if I could completely finish off Glass Bowl. Again, there is not a ton of product in Glass Bowl. And if I really focus on that every time I'm going to work, which is about two to three times a week, I have to go into work. If I wear that look every single time I go into work, I think that I could meet the goal that I want, which is to finish that shade up within the month. And kind of to go in with that one, I do want to hit pan and cufflinks down here. That again is a little bit of a softer shade. It's not as soft as I would say complicated or nutty. Those are really soft. Cufflinks is kind of like an in-between from one of the firmly pressed shades and a like one of the more soft pressed mattes. But there is a dip in that shade. It's really subtle. It's not super intense or anything like that. I use a very similar brush clearly use this one today, but I use a very similar brush to this when I use it, if not this brush when I use that shade, just to kind of buff out. It, it, this kind of brush is a like packing and blending brush, so I like this when I'm using that. And then I pile the other shades on top of it. And then Nutty here, I have been using that in my brows recently, and there is a pretty decent dip in that guy. I mean, I would love it if I could hit pan. I don't think I can hit pan. That's Let's not even go there. So those are really my top goals for the month. It's each shade 10 times, finish up glass bowl here, and really try to hit pan and cufflinks. Now, we are five days into the month. I do have another palette I'm currently testing, but I do think that that might eat away some of the uses I want in these shades, but that's okay. It's all just tracking uses for fun. It's not like this is a pressure kind of thing. So I do have two kind of like low hanging goals that I would like to do if I can. And this is like maybe if I can't meet the other goals I set, if I hit these two goals, I'll feel good about missing other goals, you know. And if I can hit pan in these two shades as well, I won't feel bad if I hit pan in Genie or Complicated and I don't meet one of the goals in one of these shades. I'll feel pretty successful in my month if that, again, if that makes sense. So that is really it for my Pan That Palette update. I'm going to have a montage of the palettes. I put them back together in their original state that I've been kind of rotating on in this project just so you can see like the actual use and what the palettes look like from month to month. Not that many other shades are going to be kind of changing through the palettes, but I do like to put the shades that I'm focusing back in the palette so you can see the uses kind of as they go. And it helps me keep a track record on what the palettes and like what shades I'm really reaching for. And if you don't know, I am using Bare Necessities palette as well as the ColourPop Pretty Guardian with Sailor Moon palette. So those are my three ColourPop palettes that I own and the only ones that I foreseeably will have. Um, but yeah, that is it for my Pan That Palette update. Let me know if you're doing this project in the comments below. I would absolutely love to know how you're doing in this project. Let me know how you structure your goals. Are you someone that wants to set goals throughout the month or you're just using it organically and kind of whatever comes, whatever comes? Or are you like, I have this shade I really wanna focus on and then I'll move to that shade. I just, I find that kind of stuff so interesting. So I would love to know your panning style if you do pan. Um, if not, and this just is an interesting thing to watch, I completely get it. I was the same way before I started panning. I was so enthralled with people using their makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!